Well, hello and welcome to Weekly Wisdom. The book of Proverbs is so rich and so deep, and, and each verse, each section speaks deeply to our hearts. And so I invite you to, to pay attention today to this passage from Proverbs and ask yourself this question. What kind of friend am I? Not asking what kind of friends do you have. What kind of friend am I? Am I the kind of friend that other people need? Let's look together at this, at this one small verse in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. And it's talking about friendship. It says this, A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. And because this is what's called synonymous parallelism, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's really saying the same thing. It's saying a friend, a brother, a person who's like a brother or sister because of their friendship. A friend loves at all times, and a brother, a sister is born for a time of adversity. What this says is simply, if you're really a good friend to others, you're not just there in the good times. You're not just there when the, the seas are smooth and it's easy sailing, but you're there when things are tough, when times are difficult. My wife Sherry is walking with a friend right now, a woman who, um, who is, it looks like in the process of losing her husband. Um, he's been very ill. He's had a tough diagnosis. I did not share with lots of people, but um, she shared with Sherry. And I've got to watch what a good friend looks like in a time of adversity. Here's three things I've noticed. Prayer. My wife prays for her friend often these last couple of weeks. And she pulls me into those prayers, invites me to pray with her for her friend and her friend's husband and kind of what they're walking through. So prayer is a part of that standing during adversity. And then second, time. Sherry thinks of her and reaches out to her and connects with her and makes time in this difficult time in her life. And then third, love. A deep love deep from the heart. Sherry cares. She feels. She lets herself feel with her friend. Prayer and love and time. That's the way that you walk with someone through difficult times. What kind of a friend am I? Do you have someone in your life right now who's struggling, who's hurting, who's going through a valley? And are you making a point of praying for them, of reaching out to them, of extending love to them? That's a true brother or sister. That's a true friend. Let's grow in that kind of friendship. Will you pray with me? Living God, you tell us that we have a friend in Jesus, that you call us friends. And you, Lord Jesus, intercede for us. You actually pray for us even today. You love us and you gave your life for us. You're always available. May we be friends like that to those you put into our lives. Help us to extend friendship in a deeper way. And for our friends who are hurting and struggling, instead of pulling away or feeling overwhelmed, let us draw near and show your grace. We ask this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Blessings on you. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you Sunday morning at 9 and 11 online or on campus. And if you're part of another local church somewhere around the country or around the world, get engaged, love God's people, grow in God's word, be part of the family of God. God bless you, and we'll see you next time on Weekly Wisdom.